In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Git on your Mac and Windows. Let's start from Mac. Go to git-scm.com and you should be able to see this page. On it, just click Download for Mac button over here. As you can see on this page, there are several methods to install Git. The easiest way for you is to use Installer. So click this link over here and then click the Load button. It will take about 5 seconds to generate your file and the download will start automatically. Save this file into the Loads folder, for example, and click Save. Once done, click on the downloaded file and once open, double click on the package file. Probably you will see the same message as I do right now saying that macOS cannot verify that this application is free from malware because it's from unidentified developer, which is fine, we trust these guys and we can install it. So go to System Preferences and then go to Security and Privacy. Here you will be able to see that you have an option to open this package anyways. Click on it and you will be able to click Open now. Then just install this application with default settings. Type your password if asked and wait for the end of the installation process. Once done, we will need to make sure that we really have Git. In order to do so, you need to open terminal application. So go to search and type terminal. Here, if you type Git and click enter, if you see the same message as I do right now on my screen, that means you have Git and you're good to go. In case, if you see something saying like Git command is not recognized, that's the issue and we will solve it during the course. Now let's continue with Windows version. Just go to the same website, git-scm.com and click download for Windows. Download will start automatically just select a folder and click Save. Once done, click the downloaded file and install the application with the default settings. Wait till the end of the installation. And select Launch Kitbash in order to check if you have installed Git successfully. This will open Git Bash, where you can type git command. And if you see the same message as we did on Mac, you're good to go. Bye-bye.